um, so uh, I went to audition for these guys, yes. and in my mind, I was like, you know, Phil Collins is the luckiest bastard. You know, he found <laughs> he found uh, Genesis in an yeah. ad in Mel. The built-in swimming pool. And he goes, I want this game. <laughs> so he's like, so I audition, and then you leave, you know, so they can talk behind your back, <laughs> that kind of thing. So I, it was, that story used to always crack me up, and I thought, who in there, right? How how often does that happen when you find a, fa a fantastic band to join from an ad in the paper? So I'm flipping through this paper, looking for people to play with, and I see this ad, and I call them up, and I left an accent voice message, you know, hey, it's George, don't be put off that I'm a woman, you know. Uh, I've been playing a long time, I'm really quite good, and, you know, please give me an audition, I'd love to meet you, and I want to be on the sh tour, perhaps, you know, and uh, they didn't call me back. So I called the other number, and I left another message, and then I called one of the other numbers again, and I got one of the guy's wives, and I said, I, you know, why haven't they called me back? Are they concerned that I'm a woman? I said, I'm a professor at Berkeley College of Music. I really can play. Oh, no, 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 they're not poor off that you're a woman at all. They, they can't, they're trying to figure out if you're really from Liverpool. <laughs> they're trying to decide who should call you. I'm, what? <laughs> call me. Um, so, yeah, they finally called me back. I went for the audition. And in my mind, I'm going, they're going to talk behind my back and they're going to decide yeah. once I leave, you know, whatever. I hadn't even gotten back from Amesbury where I auditioned. I, you know, there was a message on my machine as soon as I left. They love you. They want you in the band. Oh, great. Yeah. So they never had a problem with you. I mean, obviously. No. I mean, for a while they... The main thing they say you can play the guitar. And yeah. And you can do the and drum. sing, yeah. That was important for them. Yeah. There's a lot of people can sing, but you know what's hard about doing the Beatle thing? Is that you have to sing and play a lot of crazy things at the same time. That takes a lot of concentration. And it wakes up and different of parts of your brain. <laughs> yeah, you, it really wakes up yeah. different parts of your brain. Yeah. In fact, most of the people who do come to the shows who are guitar players and any instruments, bass players, drummers, they all thank us yeah. for playing the right parts. Right. And they know how hard it is because they've tried or they've dabbled with yeah. it. Or like, I, I used to know part of that riff. How did you do that? And they come over and ask, and I have to show them, yeah. you know, certain riffs and things. But yeah, playing them at the same time woke up the side of my brain like that sees those 3D images when you look at those crazy pictures. Right. And it made me realize that I've always loved drums. I probably could play drums now. So a few years ago, I bought myself a set of drums and took a few lessons oh, really? and now I play drums. That poor doggy in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I started the drums before she came. I've only had her uh, just about a year. Yeah. Got her when she was nine. What's your doggy's name? Natalie. Natalie. From Natalie Goldberg, that wonderful writer. Talks about the creative writing process. No, you haven't heard? Her. Oh, yeah, you ought to read that book, Writing Down the Bones. You'll love it as a Natalie writer. Natalie Goldberg? Yeah, she's a wonderful uh, writer. Okay, second thing I have to check out. We're in a bookstore. We go get it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, uh, do we know, are you the only female George? I don't know. Okay. There was uh, a wonderful George named Ray Loeffler. Ray? R-A-E. Oh, okay. L-O-F-L-E-R or something. Okay. I never got to meet her, but she was in Michigan, and she was pretty good. She always said, oh, you're a much better George than I am, but uh. she was a sweetheart. And, and I think she died on my birthday, which was oh, I'm sorry. so upsetting. <laughs> it was like, that sucks. like a year ago or something. Yeah. So... She was the only other one I knew of, and yeah. Ringo, my Ringo, found her on the internet and oh, said, really? check this out, there's another girl, George, so I wrote to her, and we used to write emails <laughs> back and forth, and we always meant to go hear each other's yeah. band, you know, would have been fun. I mean, there's not many, I mean, obviously, there hasn't been that many. Oh, I know, even Bonnie Raitt literally said to me, when she came for graduation, you know, she got the honorary doctor, we got to hang out. Oh, that's cool. And uh, she said to me, where are all the other women? I thought they'd be following me through the door once I got through. Because you can count, like, the women lead guitarists on one hand. And I said, it's not like we're not trying. Uh. But from, you know, the albums I've put out in the past, the radio guys are like, we've added a woman band this week. Yeah. Like, the quota's filled. Yeah. You know, and they don't care if a woman can play. They just want to see, you know. Right. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> They see definitely. you in a bikini or yeah. something. And, you know, I'm a musician. I, you yeah. know, I'm not... Now, do you have any, uh, I, I, I think Kali, you mentioned Kali as a role model. Yeah, well, these days I love Tori Amos and Jane oh. Sibbery and Patty Larkin. And you've heard of Patty Larkin? Yes, absolutely. And Actually, I uh, I interviewed her. Uh, Kate Bush. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. And I love the woman's voice in that Frau Frau, I don't know how to pronounce it, F-R-O-U, F-R-O-U. 
That's an interesting website. Be a really cool album. Not sure what that is. I think they're from Italy. Okay. A lot of Italian Stop on their webpage. On yeah, there's a great independent yeah. artist that's been around a while. They've actually had some songs and films. I want to get some of my songs and films. <laughs> it's funny in that. <laughs> well, you know, it's time that my songs made me some money. I've close to 300 songs, you know. I don't know if you know this yet, but being a struggling artist is not... A, it's overrated. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm doing well, though. I'm not yeah. struggling. Oh, yeah, you don't... You know, well, you got a steady job, for one thing. Yeah. That's it's, always... It's the easy thing. way to do it. Yeah. Get summers off, all the holidays off. Yeah. Yeah. Full-time, three You've days You've been doing that for a while now, huh? 1984. Wow. Two years after you graduated? Mm-hmm. You know, they asked me to teach, and I wanted to teach in the guitar department, so I had to wait for an opening. Okay. That must be very rewarding for you. It's it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it sounds I, like a cool job if you can do it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard sometimes. It's very easy for me to be a homebody and stay yeah. with, with all the toys and write and play and record and stuff. Uh, but. Uh, even if I wake up and I'm like, oh, i got to drive to work, blah, 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 blah. I get there, and then here I'm playing guitar with everybody all day, with all these young, enthusiastic new artists, and playing drums with them and encouraging them, and then I get Beatle fans who are interested in songwriting. And yeah. It's like, what's not to like? Yeah. I can't believe they pay me to do this. I know. This and is there's just... no campfire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really, like, high level sometimes, right, right. you know? It's, it's really interesting. I mean, a lot of the times because they give everybody a chance and it's not like a Juilliard where you have to audition right. to get in. You get people who aren't interested in being a serious musician. You don't musician. have to audition again? No, I mean they do just replacement okay. to figure out what level to put right. you in. Oh, I didn't know this. But okay. what happens is you get th accepted. So these are people about music? Yeah, anybody. I mean, yeah. Not necessarily people who have the technique down, yeah, but people... Yeah, you could say, you know what, I've always loved music, I want to go there yeah. tomorrow, buy an instrument tomorrow, well, and they'll and they'll let you in. What an encouraging environment. It is, but you've got to be able to really grab that and, yeah. and hold on tight, yeah. because it's college level, right. and most people just sing yeah. if they're not really yeah. ready to put in the work. They just don't realize how much work it is. Yeah. A lot of kids drop out because it's like, I didn't want to be a musician scientist, I just wanted to be in a rock and roll band. But there's so much to know, like yeah. about any subject. It yeah. goes, you know, you never stop learning. Mm. My, my students teach me an awful lot. Oh, it sounds like a great job. Now, uh, okay, let's see. Are we only on like, what, 22? <laughs> We're on 18. Oh, 18. Don't worry, some of, of these will be so, some of these are one word answer type thing. You didn't bring enough tape, I bet. Uh, we'll make enough tape out of it. <laughs> I got an one in my pocket. We'll tape over it. it. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> that will serve the purpose, huh? Uh, your f fellow Fab Four members, how close are they to their personalities of their legendary counterparts? Uh, I think it's in their hearts. Uh, okay. Ringo's a little bit more physical and um, personality-wise. Okay. He, he likes turning it on. In fact, our Paul John and John Paul, maybe because of that merge that they do, okay. uh, they just let it roll off their backs and yeah. they have the work of having to sing most of the songs and so they're conscious of keeping that going and then every time there's a ringo it's time to say hello to ringo it's time yeah. to say hello to george and everybody gets a kick out of it and me and ringo banter back and forth if we think of something i don't remember us ever making a big deal saying it's time to hear from john paul or it's time to hear from <laughs> paul john they just don't play like that yeah. but for some reason they play like that with us so I, I would say Ringo is probably the closest. And uh, is there a lot of Harrison songs on the repertoire? Currently, currently, um, yeah, we did like six or seven. Oh really? That's like a lot. Night. Yeah. Okay. And which ones no. are they? <laughs> I can probably guess some. Yeah. Well, something, something here comes the yeah. sun. Uh, Two off that album. Uh, Think for yourself, Taxman. Yeah. Uh, Devil in Her Heart. Even though they didn't write it, okay. we added that one this summer. That was fun. And we've been doing um, If I Needed Someone. Oh, okay. Cool. It's a good batch. Yeah.